Hey you guys, so today we are looking at this, which is the Star Wars Black Series Count Dooku. Number 107 in the set. Count Do, as it says down there. Count Do. Yeah, very nice. Nice artwork there of Christopher Lee. Count Dooku written there. Yeah, very nice indeed. Uh, Count Dooku was a menacing Sith Lord and a central figure in the Clone Wars. Once a Jedi, he became disillusioned with the Jedi Order and thirsted for greater power. Uh, oh no, that's written in... What is that written in? Many different languages. There is all your attention, warnings, etc. Written in all sorts of different languages again. So yeah. So I spent time on my vacation, holiday, etc. Looking for Black Series figures. Um, yeah, didn't get as many as I did last time, but walked into Epcot one day after bitching and complaining that I couldn't find any. And there is this guy sat front and centre on the shelf. He was the only one. Disney charged far, far, far too much for their figures. It was, I mean, this is Epcot. It wasn't even, they didn't even have any of these. this set in um, Hollywood Studios or anywhere like that. They didn't have any of the new ones. All they had was Lando's daughter, which everywhere had Lando's daughter. She is the peg warmer of the season. Um, I saw her nearly everywhere. The saddest thing was I went into the Target, which I got a lot of figures at last time, and they had the same Black Series figures as they'd had, I think now it's two, nearly two years since the last time I went. They've got the same, exact same figures, and I was like, I've, I've actually checked on the video, and other than the really cool figures, yeah, the um, Poe Damaro and Princess Leia from uh, the film that I hate, the Star Wars, the, yeah, anyway, anyway, I went in and I found this. Uh, now, when you buy these things in Disney, <clears throat> they do cost more, this was 20 Six ninety nine, so yeah. Disney do charge that little bit more for theirs, but I had to have it because I didn't want to miss out on it. So let's get in out of the box. There we go. And oh, now he comes with his lightsaber and a fushi bit because it's always good to have a fushi. Lightsaber in your video. Foosh. Um, let me get that out of there. Like, carefully. Careful. Because we don't want to break that end off, do we? There we go. Excellent. And the lightsaber out of there. And now his cloak is made of material. Oh, stands up straight out of the box. Hands down, cloak. Hmm. Now a cloak, intriguingly, does sit kind of nice, I suppose. It is, I don't know, I'll have to watch the film and see, you know, does he have it like that or, yeah, find some way of posing him so that he looks austere. There we go, set his feet so he's a little straighter. Yeah, <clears throat> that is standing very nicely. I have to say, that face is amazing. That is Christopher Lee, isn't it? It's either Christopher Lee or Rick Baker. You look at Rick Baker, the special effects guy, American Wolf London, stuff like that. Hi Rick, if you're watching. Um, I always think they look very similar. But that is an amazing likeness. This photo printing, whatever you want to call it, is brilliant. Wow, that is good. Uh, outfit wise, I have noticed this bit is a little shiny compared to that bit. That bit's rubber and his sleeves aren't quite as shiny as that bit. So that could maybe do with some dull coat or something on it. Just, you know, <gasps> give it a, I don't know, maybe the dullness will go away. Maybe some kind of mold release or something on the, it's a bit sticky down that side there. So. 
Uh, articulation wise, head wise, let's have a look. He has tilt forward, tiny tilt back, a little bit of tilt that way, a little bit of tilt that way. So, you know, not too bad. That's, that's kind of odd because his neck, his collar also moves. His head moves that way, and then his actual neck is a separately sort of loose bit. That cloak bit there is definitely nailed in. Oh, it's quite a nice cape. It's not too not too thin. You can kind of see through if you do that, but it is, you know, and it is nicely nicely pleated. Uh, I'm articulation. I'd, oh, now he does have like some of the uh, Power Rangers. He's got that kind of double thing there. The cloak does hide it nicely. Arm wise up. Not amazing, but not terrible. Elbow is not double jointed, so it's only going to go to there. Hmm. It's kind of weird. It seems slightly less jointed than some of the others. He does have a little peg hole there for his sabre to go onto. Which is nice. This does let's have a look. <coughs> Pull out. <coughs> Excuse me. And that does plug in there. Hmm, that looks quite nice. His hands are set to hold lightsabers, just out of interest there is swivel in the wrist as well. Now the odd thing is I'm noticing that there is no he has swivel that way. But there's not a lot of crunch. This bit is one solid, one solid piece. So that's not really going to have a lot of give. Um, yeah, and that that belt there is the belt. So that's where the the join in there. And then it said skirt then, but that is just the rest of his top, isn't it? Really. Let me put that there a sec. Um, knees wise, he has. Um, up to there, that's it. There's no more give that way. Feet go that way and have a little bit, a tiny bit of swivel. I oh, don't know, quite nice swivel either way, but then when are you ever going to stand him like that? So, yeah, I suppose Dooku isn't exactly your most combat posed figure, really. Kind of weird that joint sticks out a bit when you do that. This arm seems to want to be like that. And it's just kind of like that in the box. And it kind of wants to stay like that, but yeah. Let me get my stand. There we go. Uh, I'll just show you the effect of the lightsaber. So that plugs in like so and then creates the effect of the lightsaber beam. Swiped. Yeah. That'd be an interesting style to it. Mm. Otherwise, it has just a regular red blade in there. Which I will probably figure some way of posing him with his lightsaber in hand. I'll tell you what I might actually do. Because I don't know. I'm kind of thinking something with that kind of look to me. That's more more of a pose like that. That's more Dooku to me. He's not really a big fighter kind of guy. But uh, yeah, so height wise, this is him with the now. Wow, that's him with the Anakin. And there is quite, I wish they'd brought the Yoda over now because the Yoda would be about this big. Um, there is quite a height difference in there. Christopher Lee was a very tall actor. Um, and I always feel sorry for Peter Cushing because Peter Cushing was in lots of films with very tall people. So everybody always thinks that Peter Cushing is quite short. And he isn't. He's, he was actually quite tall. But Christopher Lee and uh, David Prowse, people like that, were always a lot taller than him. Because they were, I don't want to say abnormally tall, but you know what I mean. They were 
giants. So yeah. But yeah, that is that is nice. A nice thing that they've done that they made him just out of interest. He stands oh over six inches tall. He's about six and a bit inches tall, maybe a bit taller. And in centimeters, it's always easy to do it in centimeters. He's nearly 16 centimeters. Just short of 16 centimeters. So that is that is quite tall. But yeah. I have to say that is a that the likeness is blowing me away. It's amazing. So yeah, that is my review of the Black Series Count Dooku. So if you have enjoyed this video, what I would really really like you to do is you know the usual stuff: like, share, subscribe, etc. Watch some more of the videos that pop up on here. Uh, I do a lot of Black Series uh, figures, so yeah. So yeah. I hope you all have a great day. I hope you all stay safe and well. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye now.